What's going on right now is there is a series of murders that are similar to the Black Dahlia. Uh, everybody has a, a gash on their ring finger taken off. Um, if they have rings, the rings are typically gone. The killer is getting a little ballsy now, though, and has basically given me all the info to uh, track my latest victim. This is old Mary Jane, who gives a fuck, uh, the owner and proprietor of the house. So I'm going to walk by. And, oh, it's a clue sound. Uh, our first clue is the Virgin Mary with what I can only assume is um, little angel baby raising the roof down there. Look at those wings. Fuck yeah. Anyway, all right. So she has told me that um, Antonia Maldonado, Maldonado's how, uh, room is up the stairs and to the left. Here's my partner, who's an alcoholic. If you played this, you know he's not shy about it. On the left. Let's open up this bitch. Mm, you look at that. Someone's turned the place over. Would you just look at that? Look at that. <laughs> I better be solved if you looked at it. <laughs> you guys seen that video? I sure hope so. Gosh. It's Antonia Isabel Maldonado. Antonia. Further to my previous correspondence of August 7th, I am writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted in a court date scheduled. Your case, docket number 98765, it's a countdown, will be heard on September 17th. I am told that your husband, Aniel okay, Christopher Maldonado, residing at 30430 North Hill Street, Los Angeles, California, has been served with the official papers. It is on notice to appear at the Central District, whatever. Okay, what a, uh, oh shit! In my experience, a woman plaintiff's presence in cases like this can do much to influence proceedings. And if your husband does not appear on September 17th, which you have told me is likely, then it can only help our chances. Alright. Cool. This feels a little racist that she's got red, white, and green, and whatever. Oh, 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 that's a clue. Let's see this picture. Aw, oh, what's up, girl? The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. It wasn't. Mm, that ring was torn right off that finger. It's got a little little beauty mark there. Okay. Okay. Little dead ass kind of Cindy Crawford. Oh, look at this. Smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. Mm. Maybe it's all perspective, but it kind of looks like the frame's been outward. But the glass is broken inward? You know how I feel about Windows Phelps. This guy actually never said how he feels about Windows. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from. Probably a fence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I feel like I should be going and talking to Miss Mary Jane who gives a fuck again. So we're gonna run over there. Wait a minute. Is that a new car for me to steal? Ah, fuck it. How much is the dog in the window? Can I talk to you again? Yeah, okay, door's open. Wait a minute. There we go. Excuse me, ma'am. We need to have a conversation. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. You damn well better. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband. Oh! Angel. She was serving him the whole papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you huh. being flippant, young man? No, Bitch, I will strike you. Anyway. Well, you seem awfully confident, so I guess we'll go with that. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. She's very cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. What's wrong with that, lady? Blatantly disrespectful of our Lord and Savior, Sean Connery. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around 9. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Hmm. Hmm. 
Bitch, I don't trust you. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Ooh, Where did hag. she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. Okay. A Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found uh, the bar. What is wrong with a Latino place? <laughs> you had a break-in? No. That can't be true. Believable as fuck. Bitch, I'm on to you. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Lady, I'm going to talk to you about this broken damn window. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I don't let everyone I have know. a reputation to protect. For being a nosy bitch. Well, that just leaves the breakdown of their marriage. Hold on. Let's observe her. Yeah. Fucking on to you, Grandma. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. They were that strange. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Hmm. Oh. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. You smirking bitch. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Ooh, you was about to get fucked. In her wedding Thank photo, you. she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. MAGA! <laughs> we can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, uh. or we can check out the Eldorado bar. Well... I'm going to assume that we should probably go check out the El Dorado bar. Par Where the fuck is my partner? Get your drunk ass over here. We are going to the El Dorado bar. Location. Yeah, we're going to the El Dorado bar first. I want all the information before I bust his ass. Hell no, you're driving. You can drive. Come at me with that sauce. A nosy old hag? Ha! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? And sometimes you have to be hard. And I am hard all the time. And will remain so. Just when you think that I'm worn out, that I can't possibly interrogate anymore, I will get harder. All right. You know, a little personal information, I'm half Mexican, and I don't really like the way that she was coming at Cole about Antonia. But that's a story for another time. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? Died. She was murdered last night. Hmm. Oh, oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? <laughs> this dude no. did it. She was good and tight last it. night, complaining about her old man. Oh, shit. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. I've often been drunk enough to leave letters, so this is relatable. Daniel Maldonado, my heart. Oh, let's read this thing. Oh, shit, it's a subpoena. Whereas... Divorce papers? Donia did on the did you open them? of August 1947. No need her to. Petition. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. 
Uh, let's see. Cruelty brought by said Antonia. Wait. Oh. The plaintiff, Antonia, your wife, should not be divorced from the bonds of matrimony. Witness the Honorable Earl Brantham, Judge of Adam. Okay. Well. Diego, we're going to have Can a you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Can't or won't. Hmm. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. A weird name for it. She seemed reluctant. Oh. Well, Diego. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Ooh. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. We don't need the Dutch. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? No. She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. No. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. I do, too. Huh. I'm going to look around anyway. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Fuck, Sam. You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice. Really. Wait, is she... Okay. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? Trying to eat some ass. What's up? You drove me up to Mohammed. I'm stumped. Ideas? God damn it, I don't want to talk to this guy. Uh, Alright, well. Guess we're off to the old Maldonado residence. The residential address of Aniel and Antonia. Did you cover my shift on Wednesday? I, I might. Bitch, I might. Oh, you want to... You want to squabble? Yeah, I think so. I'm the ultimate detective. All right, guy. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Oh. Um, I actually forgot where I'm supposed to go. That's okay. So, I'm just gonna run on up here. I did my cardio, so I'm good to go. Ooh, sunshine on my shoulder. around to the front. Alright, let me just jump off this thing. Nope. Go around the front. Ah, uh, okay. No, hey, wrong way. Go back. There we go. Okie dokie. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. I 
take our boy by surprise. Ooh, this hey, man. what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're you better under watch arrest. watch that language. Hell. Oh, shit. We fit in the squabble? I got out. We are squabble. All right. Man. You really want to dance? About to get rocks, son. Bop. Oh. Oh, I wish you would. I got nothing to say to you. Oh, shit. Wait. No, no. You were getting these jabs. There it is. Eat your ass, Charles. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Hey, I just finished Cop with these him. sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Ooh. That's not his, I mean, that is his real name, but he goes by a nickname, so that's going to come back later, I'm sure. Better sit your Dexter-looking ass number down. five, six, four. I need a prowl car oh, at the rusty. apartment building, 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Not Antonia? Yet. Oh, God, no! Oh, my God. Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? Probably. We should get the whole place going over, then talk to the neighbors. Okay. And Phelps... I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Bitch, we can squabble too. Fucking nobody cares about you being Finbar. Just picked fruit market. Hmm. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries like fruit. from this place. Well. The El Dorado. Yep, it's Must a matchbook. Must be a family favorite. Okay. Huh. Ooh, ooh. This will take some explaining. Lucy, you have some explaining to do. Okay. Well, time to go speak to Maybe the neighbors. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel. Because that sound means that all the clues have been got found. got no alibi. He's toast. I'm still going to look, though, because there could be secrets. You know, like uh, golden records that you're supposed to collect or film reels or, you know, something. What the fuck? It's a diary. Let me read it. Hey, Finbar, move. Okay. Rio. Oh. Hello? What's up? What do you what want? A LAPD. Oh. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last work. night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. I'll tell you this much, man. You got one more time to get that sass and you're going to catch these hands. Finbar. No good. There's nobody here. Fine. Hey, sorry about that. I'm playing with my kid. <clears throat> LAPD. Were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated. And uh, I had the kids last night. Oh. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Okay. Finbar, what the fuck is he playing with his kids? Whatever. Hello? X is here to give it to you. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's real. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. It's me. Yes, I did. 
Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Bitch. Very nice. All right. Well, anyways. Mm. That looked like a laptop for a second, right? Uh oh. What's this? Junk. Okay. Well, let's see. That actually looks like my hat. But okay. I guess that's it for this dude's place. I mean, everything... Everything else seems on the old up and up. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Well. Okay, so we've established that Maldonado here has an issue with his wife. Even though... He <laughs> She's dead? It can't be! Alright. Kick this door down. Oh yeah, where are we going? So I guess we'll go to the old... Uh, uh, I don't know. Where should we go? Let's go to the fruit market. Oh, wait. Okay. Seems like I kind of beat them to that part. You know the way. You can drive. Car 11K, car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King, come in. KGPL, 11 King, over. 11K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11K, en route. Well, looks like we're going to the station instead. Hmm. A new letter from the killer. What could it say? Oh, gosh. All right, here we are. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with anchor. Hey, is that Kevin James? Uh, no. All right, well, how do I get downstairs? Are you going to go downstairs and see Donnelly or what? Bitch, I don't have time for your sass. Oh, I guess I'll follow you then. Let's go. Hang on a second here. Need to change my outfit for this. Sort of justice. You're probably wondering how I changed so quickly, yeah, aren't you? Cop. Finbar. <laughs> now that's an oxymoron for you. I'm sorry. He ran the light on Olympic time? and we finally collared him on Temple. Oh, why can't I pull out my gun? Clop, 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 clop. Weird. Why the hell are we in a dark area? 
Going Boys. in here? There it is. Come on in. Phelps. Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. Finnis? This information meet is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Wouldn't it be handwritten? Take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Does it work? I have changed my mind. You would not give a square deal. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Fuck you, BD Tex. Okay. Well, let's see his poetry. Keep upon thy soul by virtue Keep of this curse. Keep upon thy soul by virtue oh, of this it. curse. Ill deeds, then be thou damned, be holding good. Both infinite as is the universe, and thou, in thy self-torturing solitude, an awful image of calm power. Though now thou sittest, let the hour come, when thou must appear to be that which thou art internally, and after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through boundless space and time. Okay. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Well... Not unless he's a genius. There you go. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. Yeah, you were just a little drunk. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity the Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What is Superman the link even to the around Henry case? He, he could have got the wording voice. from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? Working on we it. had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. I must break you. Should have saved that joke for when I got up there with him. Shit. Hey, if you're still watching, thanks for sticking with me. This is all, uh, serious business. That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. I am. Alright, where's this dude at? Probably interview one. Nope. Hey, thanks. Improved Hello. your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Tell me about your last contact. So your Where wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. Well, first off, you're looking around all shifty. Second off, your neighbor didn't say the same thing. So guess what? You're getting a kill. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. I bet he will. Ms. Aranda says otherwise. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. Oh. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Hmm. Well, you're still looking shifty. Look at that squint. Oh, you know what I see? I see you fucking busted. I don't busted. believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you, I wouldn't accept a divorce. All well, these papers say that you were gonna go anyway. 
The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. Oh. She was looking around in her bag. Pretty sure the bartender said she, said she wanted she does. to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. Bitch. She ran out. Abuse of a woman is never acceptable. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? To catch you up also, uh, the killer wears size 8. We found that out a couple cases ago. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Well, you're not looking away or really squinting, so... What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? It's in the fucking picture. She never wore it. She didn't like the mess it. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. She just pawned it. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Okay, you can't look me in the eye. Not to mention, I've cut myself shaving, and it didn't look like I was in a fucking battle. Angel, know. I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito. Hippolito? He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We sock him a good him. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Oh, I guess we're off to the fruit market. Hmm. Let's go back to the bar first. Since it's not swiped off, it seems like there's going to be more. Move it. Troy Aikman knockoff. Right. You can drive. Finn bar. Get it going. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Well. Uh, okay. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. Let's look around for a second here. Did you cover my shift on Wednesday? I have an audition. Well, I can't talk to you again. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Fuck Sam. Say, honey, what time do you get off waiting tables? You drove me up to Mulholland and we did some necking. <laughs>
You don't hear that, Finbar? We've got stuff going on. Oh, that was me. Well, it certainly appears that I'm just wasting my time. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh. All right. Well, I guess we're out of here. You want a tip? I guess let's go, uh... Let's go to the damn fruit market. You're behind the wheel. Oh, I wish you'd honk at me one more time. Give me a reason. Drunk with power. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him, for Seriously. That line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? Please. Yeah, we'll Especially get to the now. market. Ugh. The guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. This case will be shut like all the others. All right, well, welcome to the Just Pick Fruit Market. You're looking for the best apples and avocados you could find? Well, good news, they were just picked. Whoa, my God, he's a ghost! The handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Ah, stab you. Excuse me. Are you working Friday night? I might be. Might not be. Hey, what's up, guys? LAPD. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 oh, Brian, years old, gross. Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Well, uh... She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Bitch. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Okay. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Use the phone for a cab and then left. Why can't you look me in the eye, Clem? You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. And she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. All right, your eye contact convinces me, I guess. That smile's got me doubting you. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't uh, you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? I got less if you keep the lip up. Better get right, get left. Let me take some of your money. Hmm. Fresh eggs, 49 cents. What is that, rhubarb? Onions? Corn on the cob? I live in the south, so this all sounds pretty good. I'm kind of sold. It's behind the doors. <laughs> Boom! No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. 
check through this stuff before we get back out there. Okay. Is that a tire iron? Oh, no, but that is a scalpel. Why cut someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. You don't know what I saw in the war. Okay, well, what else we got here? So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Huh. Um. Ah, uh, dog pattern note. Two, five, three. Okay. Two. Five. Three. Oh. Oh my god. This looks awfully religious to me. Those hands are quite oily. Ephesians 5.22 Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is her savior. Or the savior. Huh? This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Okay. Clem! What up, Clem dog? Don't you do- Oh. CMC, Christian McCaffrey. It's running back for them. Carolina Panthers. God damn oh, it, I gotta get chase after him, Cole. Alright. Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, shit. I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. Oh, he's parallel to it right now. Aim for the head. Excuse me. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, uh -oh. we didn't know he was our guy. Look at that. Best driver ever. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Uh, that seems like a frame job, if I'm being honest. Uh, oh, sweet. One Don't go to sleep on me. Give me back in close. It's almost oh, too perfect, isn't it? Shit. There's no such thing as too perfect. That's right on it. Okay, maybe if I just turn the siren off, he'll chill. It's working. Look at that. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. It really works. <laughs> I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. There we go. Bop you up. Oh, no, sir. Probably going to shoot you to... Oh, wait, I can't. Pistol whip him. No? Alright. We ought not to have done it. She was just a girl. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Look at him smile. What the fuck? Well. Outstanding job on this Oh, piece, Finbar. The Tipping poor it back, woman huh? can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. Give him a real When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Oh, wonderful. Now, on your way. Oh, I've got drinking to do. Quite a bit of it, it looks like. Ah, that's not a good accent. Yep, see? There it is. Stereotypes sometimes exist for a reason. Well, this was most of the silk stocking murder. Uh, the stream says that I've been doing this for 45 minutes. So if you stuck around this long, 
Uh, hey, thanks. Appreciate it. Only $110 in city damage. And we did everything right, it looks like. Five stars, Valoris. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, be sure to tune in next time. I don't know why people say tune in. I mean, it's going to be on my stream. You can just pick it if you want. Anyways, yeah, I'll be doing this again soon, I think. So thanks for watching, and have a wonderful night. This is Mighty Helios, the Mighty Armor of the Law.